day, and our, our hearts goes out to all the victims and their families. But, you know, I, I, I somewhat, with, with the experience I had last year, I can imagine what these young young people went through, the teachers, all that was there. It's, uh, it is chaotic, and it, words can't describe what they're going through right now. And the best thing everybody can do is just, is just pray uh, that things will begin to get back to normal. But it's a total tragedy, and we've got to begin to understand there's a point in time we need to talk about uh, securing our schools and keeping our teachers and children safe. You know, I want to talk about the community of Santa Fe because sometimes we get so far afield uh, with the forensics of these things that we don't talk about those people. And, you know, having suffered what you did at the congressional baseball game being shot, I, I think it, it is time to just maybe take a pause and talk about this community outside of Houston. What can you tell us about Santa Fe? That school, by the way, had 1,400 students enrolled there. Well, it's a great community. It's a growing community. I spent some time there when I was Secretary of State of Texas. It's got wonderful people, um, all American people. And, uh, you know, it's a community now that's going to be brought much closer together. But also, they're going to need to have a lot of prayers. They're going to need to have a lot of people, uh, counsel uh, uh, those that were there, the victims, the families. Uh, it's a total ongoing process. And I must tell you, uh, I think uh, at the end of the day, uh, everybody would tell you it's a life-changing experience. Mm -hmm. uh, for all these, all these folks, and certainly that community, and the and the school. Yeah, how so is it life changing? I, I'm just, you know, I look at these kids; they don't have the life experience yet right. to balance this. Well, I'll tell you what, what it, it it does for a lot of people. It did for me. It just reminded us how how short life is and how mm -hmm. precious it is. And quite frankly, that uh, God's in control. And I I don't know any more than you can go to that and and receive people's prayers and their blessings. And, uh, and begin to, uh, to build back even stronger. Uh, but again, uh, we need to remind these perpetrators that uh, we are going to do something to keep these schools from being targets. Yeah, I can only imagine what the discussions now are like on Capitol Hill. And I, I again ask you about that because you have a unique perspective. You actually have been part of the victim. Uh, you know, it's, it's a horrible club that people say that they're in, of the victim club where you've been shot. Your perspective now is forever changed. What are those well, conversations it, like? Well, it is. And, and like I say, Harris, unless you have been through what these children have been through, mm -hmm. it, it's hard to explain. Uh, it's, uh, it, it is, and, and you have to begin to work your way out of it. I mean, there's going to be a lot of counselors. There are going to be a lot of people that have some issues uh, the rest of their life. I know myself, I mean, when I hear gunfire, it, it affects me now where it didn't used to. Mm -hmm. And uh, but, but more importantly, it's these young men and women, their young lives have been changed, and uh, we've got to comfort them. And there's a lot of love that has to be uh, administered to this community from all over. The Attorney General, Ken Paxton, for the great state of Texas, joined me a few moments ago, and now I have on Congressman Roger Williams. And I'm wondering, uh, just to kind of echo his remarks, if you can, or maybe yours are different, about where we go from here. What can we learn to keep this from happening? And I know the random nature of violence, but this has been seven of these since the beginning of 2018. Well, there's no question about it. And I think we have to, those of us in, in government, state and federal and local, need to get serious about securing our schools. I, mm -hmm. I know up here, I, I've, uh, after, the, uh, after the shooting at, at Parkland, uh, I talked to Secretary DeVos. We, we have a plan. We actually have a bill that we that we filed that would uh, allow the schools like Santa Fe to individually see what their needs are as far as securing the schools and apply for a grant from the secretary of or the Department of Education. Mm -hmm. uh, they have a 63 billion dollar budget that would cover a lot of uh, security for our schools. Not money to go to the states, but money to go to the individual schools uh, to protect our our children and. Uh, uh, we have that out there, and this next week I'm going to be pressing it hard for my colleagues to begin to get on this so we can do something about securing these schools much sooner than later. We see what happens when we don't. Yeah, and you know, the president has already spoken with the governor of Texas. He's going to be uh, landing at the site or near there and then going to the school, we understand, in a short order. So that's happening uh, at this point as well, Governor Abbott. But to hear you talk about actually taking action, this is a president who has wanted to and who has made that funding available. Just a last word about that from you. Well, we, we have $63 billion in the Department of Education. That's the money's money. already there. It's a lot of money. It doesn't have to be allocated. It doesn't have to, we don't have to break the budget. It's, uh, it's already there. 
And I think the biggest role the Department of Education has is secure our schools, protect our teachers, protect our children. And, and I'm very passionate about this just from the fact as we talked, I've mm -hmm. been through this. And we need to address this immediately. And we have a very simple uh, a bill uh, that will allow us to do this. I've talked to Secretary DeVos. She knows exactly what we want to do. And I think we need to move forward. And I'll be pressing it this next week. All right. Well